Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for being a little quiet. My family is in the living room right now and I don't want them to hear me because that's awkward. Today's video is my Harry Potter project pan finale. I'm like so sad actually even though I've been a mess this entire project. Um, I've been trying and that's what counts, right? This video I thought was going to be really short but I'm actually going to end up talking at the end about all the products that I finished throughout this um, project because I was looking and I was like, man, I only used up like three things. And then I went through my like trash of makeup and there's quite a few things here. So let's get into the first project that I introduce every time is my um, like house product. Um, basically whatever I think of that represents my house, I'm Ravenclaw, so I always pick something blue. And last time I picked the Ole Henriksen Invigorating at Night Transformation Gel. This broke me out so bad. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I used a little bit of it. It's a little lower. I think I used it four or five times. I think I used it like a whole week in a row. I broke out so bad. I am wearing makeup, but like it's cleared up. The second that I stopped using this, it cleared up. So I'm going to give this to my mother and see if she can get some use out of it. I'm, I'm sad that I coun't use more of it. Um, not that it was like that expensive and it's just a mini. But I'm so sad that I like can't even use it. The other moisturizer that I ended up finishing before that one I loved. It was so good for my skin. No idea what the fuck is in this that is making me break out so bad but let's move on. I believe the next product is my Molly Weasley's Christmas sweater product. These like categories are such mouthfuls. I picked my Fenty lip gloss and fussy which I did find. Um... I went camping on Halloween night and it was in a bag from a month and a half ago. Yeah, I did find it like three or four days after I filmed that video though, the past update, so I don't feel too bad. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see, but I did, oh wow, you can really see. I took the stopper out um, and there's basically just what's left on this wand and a little bit on the sides. So it's not 100% done. But for the purposes of this video, I'm calling it a win because like I can finish this by the end of the year and I did lose it for like a month and I'm just bad at wearing lip gloss. I'm wearing it right now. I'm going to call this a win. I'm not going to call it an empty, like I'm not going to include it in my empties because I can still probably use it for like the rest of December, but I'm really proud of this. Okay, this has as much lip gloss in it as like a full size lip gloss from most other brands so the fact that I used almost this entire thing up in less than a year I feel good I feel really good so that's a win my next product is something that I used to not like that I now like I picked a perfume because it's pumpkin scented because I never used to like pumpkin I didn't finish it <laughs> but I'm so close to it being gone hold on let me hold it flat this would be flat. So there's like a little bit left. Maybe like a week worth. I feel like I could have finished up everything except for the gel thing in the next week. But I always update really, really late and I feel bad. So I'm filming it on the 13th. No, today's the 12th. Oh, that is so exciting. <laughs> that is so sad. I don't even know what today is. I'm filming it day before it's supposed to go up so I'm either going to upload it before work tomorrow or after work and then I'm gonna be good it's gonna be on time and I'm so happy about that um but I'm really really close to being done with this so I'm also gonna call this a win um because I can have this done before 2021 starts so it's not an empty but it's a win the last product is my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Again, it's not empty, but there's literally one use left in it and like on the lid. I'm calling it an empty. I'm going to scrape out the rest of it, but I'm calling it an empty. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that. I don't know. I just feel so good that I used up two hand lotions. Like I know that two hand lotions over an entire year isn't a lot, but I feel good about it. And I got those in like May. So six months go me right <laughs> unfortunately that is the end of the project so i'm not gonna roll anything else in obviously 
but I'm gonna go through everything that I used up. So I think the first thing that I used up was my ColourPop All-Star Setting Spray, which I actually don't have anymore because I threw it out because it was like the first thing that I used up this year. So she's gone, but that was my first empty. I don't know if these are exactly in order. I just kind of have them out now. Um, then I used up my 43 Beauty Acai Face Milk, which was my Ravenclaw color thing because it was blue. So that's two. I used up my Fairy Floss Lip Gloss from ColourPop. I used up almost three lip glosses this year. That's nuts. That's like, this is the first year I've really used up anything makeup y, but she is super duper empty. There's a hair in it, which is really cute. I also used up my e.l.f. Hydrating Booster Drops, um, also for the, like, Ravenclaw category. I know that there's stuff in it, but this is something else. It's, um, an eyebrow and eyelash serum that the, the tube busted, but I did finish that. So now we're up to four. Well, yeah, now we're up to four. And then I used up the moisturizer, the Sheer Transformation, Sheer... Oh my god. The Ole Henriksen Moisturizer, the other one that was in that little blue container. So now we're at five. Plus both of these. So seven. Seven things. I feel like that's like really good for me. I'm really, really bad at using up makeup or anything, honestly. Seven products in one project. I'm really proud of that. If you want to include these two because they'll be done by the end of the year. I dropped it. I dropped this in every single video. What is wrong with me? You could say nine. I'm gonna say seven, just because these aren't actually empty yet. But I know if I hadn't put this into this project, I never would have been able to take this out up within like the next year probably. So I'm so proud of myself. I think next year I'm gonna do like a samples project where I try to use up all of my little samples or like my mini sized things. I have so many. Like, this is a whole bag of just hair product samples that I got from Sephora last month. Um, yeah. So if you wanna see like a sample project pan, let me know. I'm really, I'm really gonna do it, I think. Um, or like a sample September sort of thing, maybe. Um, and I brought in a lot of new makeup this year, so I really need to work on the project panning. Thank you so much to Christina Chang for inviting me to do this project in the first place. Um, I know that she invited everybody, but I feel so special being one of the people to, like, actually have finished things and have been partaking in this, um, most of the year, so I feel so good. Thank you so much again, Christina, and I really hope that you let me do this with you again next year because I feel so accomplished, honestly. So, yeah, that's the video, and I will see you guys in my next video. It should be uh, my end of the year empties video. How many times am I going to say video? So, see you in the next one. Bye.